What's good, y'all? I'm Cyril Jules from CyrilJulesBeats.com, and do not start a home studio without watching this video. This is why. All right, y'all. So what I'm going to show y'all today is my home studio setup. Wow. And pretty much the prices to everything and what exactly I have and what you should get as well to just start up. First, we're starting with my monitors. The monitors I have are my Yamaha H5. Now, I had these monitors for a while. They're very clean. I... I pretty much, you know, uh, ever since I got them, I fell in love with them. Now, they're not too big and they're not too small. And it gives you that right amount of sound that you need in order to hear a track the way that you need to hear it. Now, these are about $199 per monitor. So the best bet, your best bet is to get two monitors, which will probably cost you about, you know, 400 and something dollars. Or you could get it like bundled. And I have it, the links in the description down below for the monitor. All you have to do is go to the home studio section and they'll have every item that I explained to you in this video in there. Those are the first things that I start off with. Next, I have my headphones and the headphones that i have is audio techna i have the m150s so these headphones are pretty solid you know they're nice they will last you they'll get you you know the clean sounds you can hear your voice very clearly you can hear the beat very clearly when you listen and then you can hear the solid song exactly how you need to hear it these headphones don't cost that much anymore. They go about 150 or they're probably cheaper now. So wow. try those headphones. All right, and we'll go to my interface. The interface that I have is the Scarlett 212. It is a Focusrite uh, product. It's uh, pretty good. I just got it. I traded in my Pro Tools M-Box. I had a big M-Box that I traded in. Well, I sold it and I downsize to that. So the one that I have has two mic outputs. It has uh, four speaker inputs for the back, one headphone input, and then, um, you know, everything could attach from there. So that's all you pretty much need to record. In the link down below, I have the bundle attached. I have two bundles or I have, yeah, I have two bundles attached in the description down below that you could order straight off of Amazon. You get everything, it comes with headphones, a mic, the pop filter for the mic, and the cords that you need. So you could just pretty much start off with that and get to recording instantly, because all you do is hook that up into your computer, it's USB cord, hook that up into your laptop, computer, whatever you have, and then you'll be able to uh, just connect it as your driver and you're straight. So the next thing that I have after that is this microphone right here. This is a condenser mic. It is a C214 AKG. Uh, I paid about 420 for it. So I haven't linked this microphone. Uh, this microphone was very expensive at the time, but I had the money to get it. So it was 400 like and 20 something dollars, but it was well worth it to me. You see how clear you can hear me right now? Uh, that's the microphone that I have and in order for it to be this clear I have a Mogami cord So go with Mogami when you get a cable for all your cables because what it does is it lowers Well, actually it doesn't have any air. You don't hear any air Because of the cable cord it, it, Something to do with the mic, but it's really because of the cord it doesn't let any air in Wow um, then after that, for like extras, I went to Best Buy. And when you go to Best Buy, you go to the computer section and I got some Logitech uh, monitors, well, speakers really. 
because it has a subwoofer and it has uh, like five different speakers that go all around my setup. And it's pretty good. I really just like it because of the sub so I could feel that low end, but you could get it also for like surround sound. And that's pretty much the setup. So get you a good solid laptop. For me, I have an old MacBook Pro, but you could get you something different. You know, I give you the details on that. And then all the cameras that I use as well is down in the description below. Make sure you click on the description down below because each one of those links are tied to me. So once you click on the link down below for anything that you want to purchase, everything that I got, I pretty much put in there except for like my hard drives or something like that. I ain't put those in there. But uh, all of like, when you go to those links down below, it'll redirect you to the piece of, the pieces of equipment that I have. It's really in a good budget. So I think it's under, it's set, excluding the monitors, it's under $400 for everything. But including the monitors, it'll come out to like 900 because those are like 200 a piece. But my advice is go on eBay or Amazon for the monitors and you should be straight. So that's pretty much my setup. And then I have everything else, the cameras I use, the ring light setup, the green screen. I don't think you would need stuff like that, but if you would like it, it's there for you as well. So that's pretty much my home studio setup. Uh, it's not too over the top. It's not too, it's not too bad. The quality in each product, I get the best uses of them. I'm straight. I also have a beat pad, but that's for, you know, for y'all producers. I'm sure for producers, my advice is just get a DAW. You can either get a FL Studio, Ableton, Studio One, Pro Tools, or whichever, whatever, you know, works for you. So that's the video right there. I'm Cyro Jules from CyroJulesBeats.com. Don't make a home studio without getting these products I recommend. I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm over and out of here.